Malaysia is pushing to fast-track the ASEAN power grid designed to facilitate greater cross-border electricity trade. And this comes amid the growing needs to decarbonize and ensure sustainable energy supply. CNA's Melissa Goh has more from the Energy Asia Conference in Kuala Lumpur. Energy Asia. Without grid, power cannot be distributed. We need to look into the standardization of the rules and regulation. Whatever we do, we really need to bring our people along with us. Two, one. Energy security and sustainability took center stage at the three-day Energy Asia conference in Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia as ASEAN chair is eager to have all the bloc's members endorse a single roadmap to realize the fully interconnected grid system by 2045. The more importantly is for this time for Malaysia championing ASEAN is to get the agreement signed by way of enhanced MOU or by way of agreement where all the member states agree, only then we can work out interconnection, what is the best viable options. Connecting grids will require hundreds of billions of dollars in infrastructure spending. Different grid standards and pricing mechanisms have slowed down integration. But Malaysia's national utility giant, TNB, said Southeast Asia is poised to be a regional hub for clean energy. We can see that the ASEAN countries has um, different strengths with respect to early generation. Uh, for example, the uh, Laos has a lot of hydro. Malaysia has the uh, solar generation. So it becomes significantly important for the ASEAN country uh, to be able to share all these resources. In May, Vietnam, Malaysia and Singapore formed consortia to explore the feasibility of exporting renewable energy from Vietnam via a new subsea cable. Singapore's target is to import one-third of its energy needs, or around 6 gigawatts, of low-carbon electricity by 2035. Malaysia, meanwhile, has agreed in principle to supply up to 1,000 megawatts of hydropower from Sarawak to Singapore via subsea cable. So the only challenge right now is the undersea cable, number one, is expensive uh, because the line. Number two, uh, the waiting period is longer because there are only two vessels in the world that can do undersea cable. So. <laughs> The waiting period now is about 10 years. So far, eight of 10 ASEAN members have set net zero carbon emission targets. Malaysia said it's on track to achieve net zero with 70% renewable energy in its power generation mix by 2050. There's a demand for renewable energy continues to search for data centers. Previously, it's nice to have, but now it's a must-have. Um, driving, uh, driven by the um, um, uh, renewable energy commitment. Now that we need to take the momentum and turn that into a real, tangible um, action plan. Harmonizing standards and rules and regulations is a building block towards realizing an ASEAN power grid that's necessary to ensure equitable growth in ASEAN that's set to become the fourth largest economy in the world by year 2030. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.